What's good? What's good, people, y'all? It's your boy, Brooklyn Ocho, man. You already know what it is. Um, this video is actually a different type of content than I usually am usually used to putting out, man. This is like, uh, I mean, I'm always doing video game stuff all the time on my other channel, man. Um, but this one, I just got the new, the new, new PlayStation DualSense controller, you know what I mean? So I'm super hyped for that. Look at that thing, baby. Look at that thing, baby. But yeah, I just copped that joint in, man. So this is gonna be like an unboxing review type video. Um, all right, so definitely stay tuned for that, B. All right, here. All right, so there you have it, man. The new DualSense Edge PS5 controller, man. The wireless controller, of course. Um, this is the newest controller to drop. The newest official controller to drop for PlayStation. That is for as like uh, for professional, not professional, but like you know, people that take gaming more seriously, man. They going they going cop this controller, man. So this is actually the official official controller from PlayStation, man. Not one of those uh, off-brand companies, be so. Go ahead and pop this, this official Sony joint off real quick. Man, it's one of the clean. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Man, um, let's go ahead, man. I'm hyped to get into this, dog. I definitely want to set it up, man. Um, I'm not really too big on like having multi. I mean, I, this is my first controller like this, man. So I'm not, I'm not used to uh, pro different profiles for controllers and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not caring about how I keep the box. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping the box anyway, so it don't really matter to me. So, all right. Um, like I was saying, man, I'm not really used to controller like this as far as like any type of uh, back pedals or anything like that. It's my first time having a controller like this. I didn't buy any of the attachments before for the other back pedals on the uh, back attachments for the other PlayStation 4 or 3 or 5 controller or anything like that. So this is my first time having something like this of this, this type of customization caliber, you know what I mean? Uh, looks nice, man, so far. I like the packaging. It's cloth, I mean, feel nice, you know what I mean? Look at this baby, boy, it feels nice too. It almost feels like the same it almost feels like the same type of material that's actually on the actual controller, like what the controller is made out of, uh, to, be, to be honest with you. Like it definitely feels like the same, the same type of material the controller is made out of. All right, so let's go ahead and zip this thing right here. Bye. Boy, that thing a little nice, boy. Boy, I tell you. Uh, off the rip, off the rip, I can feel a major difference, like major difference in this section right here. These, these feel like, like when I tell you off rip, if you used to holding a PS5 controller or even a PS4 controller, I'm, I'll put it at that. If you used to holding a PS4 controller, you pick this up, you're going to be like off rip, like damn, I can feel... It feels like a like a rubbery type. This looks like a this feels like a rubbery type material. So it's definitely gonna help out um, grip, uh, better posture for your you know hands and everything like that. But definitely gonna help out on grip wise. Uh, analogs feel pretty much the same as any other analog would feel like. Um, they look, I mean they look brand new. So I mean definitely uh, it's gonna take. But the one thing I I, I would say. When I buy an analog, when I buy a new DualShock controller, uh, either four or five, like the analogs have to be broken in a little bit. But this don't, this feels like it's not loose. It doesn't feel like it's trash, but it feels like I can, I can plug this joint in and get right to the game. And like, it's not, it's not, I don't have to sit there for, a, you know, a, a day, a couple days or so and try to get it back in the, um, make it feel comfortable for me. Uh, as you can see here, of course, they got the, PlayStation joints, the square triangle circle X on there. That's, that's pretty clean. The one thing I don't like, which I feel like Sony is going to, um, they're going to come out with, with customizable parts for this. I do not like this, like this shiny part. Like I, I don't like that. If you compare it to another, uh, if you compare it to the PS5 controller, if you compare that to a PS5 controller, 
Um, I got the the red joint right here. But if you compare it like there, like you can see the sim, you can see that the difference. It look, I mean, it's slimmer, it's more shiny. But I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the, of the shiny, the shiny part of it. I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna look cloudy after, uh, after like a couple days or so of gaming, because your hands is, you know, you eat. Your hands get sweaty, greasy, anything like that. So when you put you put your hands on here, I mean, granted, you really have no reason to put your hand on this part. I mean, of, of the controller, if you just blind, well, I don't know, play crazy, but I don't know. But like, I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna get a little cloudy. It's gonna get a little, you know, fingerprinty, a little dirty over there. So I prefer, I prefer it like this, where it's more like a matte, you know, matte black type material, where it's not really, you don't really see any dirt, any type of, uh, you know, anything bad on this part. But I mean, at the same time, I'm not gonna say it's trash. It's, it's still, it still looks good. It's still clean. Um, the controller, as far as the buttons, they're not. They went more of a black, uh, black background to it. So it, it used to be, it used to be clear. So it's more like, I guess. I mean, it's still clear, but you can definitely tell it has like a back, black, black, uh, black background behind it. Uh, of course, you got the. Um, the triggers. Let me actually see how the triggers feel. Triggers feel normal. They look about the same. Oh, uh, they have a little bit more of a grip, a grip to it, as you can tell from right there. They actually have more of a grip to it, so you can definitely, uh, yeah, you can definitely feel that. You can definitely feel the grip to it, so it's definitely not bad. And you got your charger port right there. And one thing I do like about the charger port when you when you plug it in either via straight straight to it you plug it straight to it or if you want to charge it overnight you plop this little uh, this little hatch open pop that out bang and you can plug it in boom just plug it through there straight into the console or wall unit however and then you just put this you just slide this in here put that in there clip it bang and then plug that in controller so now you don't got to worry about you know, if you got any kids or dogs or whatever you got going on in the crib, man. If you got anybody that passed across your console or whatever. And then you don't have to worry about it coming apart. Because that'll just latch right into the controller. You know, just see that? It latches right in, so you ain't got to worry about it. And then you good. Now, nah, man. All right. Next up. I'm going to put all this stuff back, man. Because I ain't... I'm going to charge it, but not... Nah. I ain't gonna charge it right now. Uh, next up, we got the paddles. Uh, paddles are definitely pretty dope, man. So, let me get that back in there. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, back to it. I ain't trying to get this dirty. So, yeah, back to it. Got the paddles. Them bad boys. I can't wait to set, I can't wait to set all this stuff up, man. It's gonna be crazy. So, yeah, they go right up in there, man. Paddles go right up in there. Click clap. Got that in. And then easy. Easy functionality. It's not loose. Let me see. Yep. I don't gotta worry about it. Like, look, I'm hitting on it hard too. And it ain't it ain't coming apart. It ain't coming out. I'm good. Real nice. So yeah, I like that, man. And then you got the other paddle. The other finger button for the back. Actually, I thought. I thought you can use, uh, I thought you can, I mean, you could, you could switch them up. You could have one like that, one like that. I guess you could do that, but I thought you can use both at the same time, which you can't, so it's not that bad. I'm not, it's not, I'm not, it's gonna, not gonna interfere with me, but if you want, I guess, I guess this is for like, I guess some people will still have a bit of an occurrence where they can hit this by accident. So if my hands, my hands are right here, and then I'm sitting here playing and I can, I can still hit it by accident and whatever you have the functionality to, uh, say you have it as a jump or melee and something like that and you just hit that by accident, yeah, this is more of a chance where you you have to like physically go ahead and press it. So I don't have I don't have more of a of an option to hit it. If you see how I'm placing my hands, like most people, most gamers put their hands right here, so they're gonna they're gonna hit this by accident regardless. But being that my hands are like sit like this. I have to really move my hand up there to hit that, so it kind of makes more of a better placement, I guess. So I'm, I'm probably, I probably stick with this more than the paddles, but I mean, like I said, I don't know, man. I see how it goes. 
Um, but everything else feels really good. Really, really good. I know people make a complain about the battery life. Oh, my God, the battery life is too short. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they say this could last about up to five hours. I mean, for one, if you game for five hours straight, that's kind of crazy. Like, get something to eat, my man. Don't do something else. Like, oh, that's crazy. But uh, plug, I, 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 I literally sit like two feet away from my controller, from my console. Less than that, really. So I can just plug that joint in. But if you're not sitting close to your console, you sit close to maybe a wall unit or something like that, and you have a charger that fits a USB-C uh, port in the back, like my, my fault. Actually, it's just a USB charger. Plug that joint into a USB charger into the wall socket, and then boom, you can still you can still play, and um, you can still play in game at the same time. You don't have to plug it into your console. I think a lot of people really are caught on. I have to plug it into my console to play the game. No, you don't. You can just plug it into the wall socket and still be good. So I don't I don't get what the the issue is with the battery life. Like that that's not that's not gonna phase me at all, at all. Um, I haven't tried out the new. Let me tell you, see if you could take these out. Actually, I think you gotta pop that up. Yeah, you gotta pop this out to get that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So to get the middle plate out, what you gotta do is see that release button right there. Release, just slide that over to the left. Bang, pops that right out. Or if you're looking at it from the invert angle, slide over to the right, boom, pops that joint out. Lift this paddle up right here, ka -chow. And you slide that bad boy out. So that's the good thing about this controller as well. Like this, like that was like almost a selling point to me. The back pedals were, were, were like a, a good option, but this right here was a selling point to me. So stick drift is a major issue in um, PS5, PS4, PS3, PS2, like in all controllers really. I haven't really had any stick drift. Um, I think maybe one of my controllers has stick drift. Um, and I have three controllers so far. Uh, I had two at launch, so I mean, I never really, I don't know, I mostly played with the red one anyway, I just like the color of it. Uh, so stick, just stick drift is not really a trouble, an, an issue for me. But this right here is like the key selling point to me. So if I have an issue with stick drift on this controller, um, I can just get a new one. They sell these for $19.99, $20 at either PlayStation, Best Buy, Walmart, wherever. Eventually they'll, they'll be at, at those places, I'm assuming. Um, and then I cop them, cop one or cop two, you know, just in case. Cop four, just in case, you know, you just want to get and prepare for the future. Cop them joints, slide that joint right up in there. Pop, hit down, ah, uh, damn near feel like you, know, you got you got a damn near a new controller for twenty bucks, well forty if you want to place the new one. But yo, that is a super super dope feature of this controller that I really feel brings it to the next level of like ingenuity brings it to the next level of um just greatness know what i mean that's what i bang with sony man but anyway man and these are like more function options that you can do for the controller i haven't really gotten to look at that i haven't even looked at the manual so i'm just going off of everything that i i know of that i've seen from the uh the early early videos of these of these controllers but off rip i love the feel of it the paddles, I mean, lifting up, you can come off easy, but press down on it. I'm joints just, I'm joints just in there. I'm joints just in there. And then this right here is the resistance. So as you can see, I got the, the top resistance, which is, I think, like no resistance really. So I can go all the way down on it. If I slide all the way down to the bottom, bang, 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 bang. That's, that's like right off rip. So if I'm playing a shooting game, instead of me pressing all the way down on the controller, which I definitely might switch that out. So if I'm playing Apex, I put that all the way at the bottom so I could just hit them shots off real quick instead of me going all the way down. But um, yeah, I just hit that right there. Just hit that function, and then boom, boom, boom. I'm hit, I'm shooting, I'm shooting off the, I'm shooting off the hip, crazy. Know what I mean? But yo, controller super dope. I like it. Sony, good job. Um, uh, if you if you're thinking about getting it, I highly recommend it. Two hundred dollars is hefty. I ain't gonna lie to you, but for me, I think it's worth it, man. All right, but a lot of people say. Based off the battery life, it's not worth it. But uh, that's crazy to me. I'm not. I'm not gonna base off the battery life. Like, if there was no way of charging it, then I maybe I understand what you're saying. Like, if I had to turn it off, if I had to turn it off to charge it, then I yeah, that, that's a that's a major selling point that I'm not. I can't get by. But if I could charge it and still play it, I don't. I don't see that. It's not that big of an issue to me, dog. Um, 
four to four to four and a half five hours that's a long ass time to be gaming so i don't i don't see i don't see the issue damn how i get this dirt anyway i wiped it off i don't almost have touched the move my hands or something anyway uh yo dope controller i love it so far can't wait to set it up and i'll get i'll get back to you on that after i set this thing up to to my my preference on on i'm mostly going to use it for fighting games um and apex legends that's the only shooting game i play for right now so i definitely have that have those um set up for that type of content for that type of games you know what i mean but i'll definitely i'll definitely inform you on what i have chosen to set that up as and if it if it works if it doesn't work and all the in my review on that all right appreciate y'all tuning in man it's your boy brooklyn ocho hope y'all enjoy enjoyed the unboxing I mean, it's my first video, so my bad if I ain't doing it like everybody else. I don't know. I don't want everybody else's unboxing be. But uh, that's it. All right? I'm out. Peace.